today's problem. I like to mount my GoPro to the front of my helmet. However, my helmet is obviously not designed for front mount GoPro action. And I've tried a whole bunch of different solutions to make it work. Uh, you ever tried to build up tape on here? Uh, and it always just seems to come off because, you know, that shape just doesn't want to work out. And, you know, you've got these little stock things from GoPro. And no matter how you build it up, I hope you guys can see this, it's just not quite going to work. Try like this. So if I do that, and the top is open. If I do that, bottom is open. So it's always going to rock back and forth, and no matter how I build the tape up, it just doesn't want to adhere correctly. And not only does it have a bevel going in this direction, but it also bevels in this direction. So today, what I'm going to show you is how to fix it. And there's two ways, depending upon how much you like your helmet. Uh, this is an XO 1166, which I like. So I'm not going to JB weld my helmet or screw it or anything like that. We're going to make a small mold and then make a custom piece that can clip on here and then a piece that will allow me to use the sticky tape and have full adhesion all the way around. But first let me show you what you can do if you don't really like your helmet that much. This was basically the same problem. This is some garbage HJC helmet. Um, I just used it for moto blogging, but it's just a, it's a helmet that came with one of the bikes that I bought, so I really didn't care about it. And in order to make it work, I just JB welded that puppy right on there because I was running into the same issue that it just wouldn't fit no matter what I did. So what I did was I ran a screw, countersunk it and then ran JB weld around it. The problem is, obviously if this is a helmet that I like, then I'll never be able to repair the hole from the screw or get all that JB weld gunk off. So in order to come up with something similar and the same amount of adhesion, you can make a little custom mold securely attach your GoPro to your helmet. So what is it we're actually trying to accomplish? What we're trying to accomplish is to create as much surface contact between the helmet and the GoPro adapter. And there is a couple ways to do that. First, I'm gonna strip off all this gunk from trying to build it up. And I'm gonna show you. So what do I have? I have orthopedic casting tape in purple. And this is just like a Walmart bag. It's nothing particularly special. And now I'm going to try this orthopedic casting tape and see how that works. All right, this stuff right here is interesting. It's the first time I've ever used this. It's actually, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, there you can start to see it come off my hands. It's a, there's a sticky feel to it. All right, why did I put the plastic on here? Obviously, look at my hands. What a mess. I, I'm, I work with a lot of fiberglass. I know there's the, you can wax it, you can do a zillion different things to it, but it's the first time I work this stuff. It seems pretty neat and pretty easy. It seems like a really easy way to make negatives of things. Uh, basically, the directions are soak in water, wring out, and apply to what you want to do. I do not have my fiberglass wheel, so I'm just going to try just doing it this way. Let's see what kind of negative impression we can get. All right, water. Shake it out, stick on. My plastic is not moving around. That's good. Tighten up and stretch it out a little bit. Seems to be kind of holding the shape very well. Same thing. 
I've never done this before. This way, using this stuff. So I'm kind of curious as to how well it'll actually work. I'm just gonna use this to really, I really want to catch the entire shape of this helmet. And I don't know how it's made these little lines in it because of the plastic, but I do believe that I will be able to accomplish what it is that I want to accomplish. Because it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect to make an adapter that works with a GoPro. Look at his purple hands, man. And it's like super glue on your fingers, obviously. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it definitely is super glue on your fingers. I would recommend wearing gloves. All right, where do the wives? Just wear gloves. I'm not trying to wash my fingers with acetone and it is pretty much impervious. Ended up having to use 220 grit sandpaper on my fingers to get this stuff off. Now, there is a little bit of heat that I'm noticing. All right, this is what we got with the fiberglass tape. I'm actually pretty impressed that it captured a fair amount of detail, which is probably all we need. But bring it down to my actual helmet now. Boom, that is a perfect fit. You find out where I would want the GoPro mounted, which is probably about here. I don't want it so that it interferes with my vent. I want to have 100% contact so it doesn't fall off. So I know where the vent is right here. Basically line that up at the top. If I come to the negative on this, boom, there's the vent. So I would line that up with the top and this would be, this little portion here is all that I want. Just mark out where I want this thing. I'm just gonna make my lines real quick. What am I painting it for? You'll see. Because I can't find a marker. But, boom. Pretty outline, now I know where it needs to go. I know that's a little bit off center. So I'm going to take it and cut this stuff real quick. Cut down. We got this. It should. Oh, it's perfectly right there where it's supposed to. Just fits just like that. So I don't know if we can see, I still gotta trim it a little bit, but it has solid contact with the helmet all the way around. For ease of use, uh, I am a fan of fiberglass casting tape. Let me finish trimming this down to an exact perfect fit, and then we'll see what we can make out of it. Getting there, looking pretty good, about the right shape. I don't know if I'm perfectly on center though. It's pretty decent. I would say that GoPro is pretty centered. Right. Now I've got this piece. I don't need the foam here. So I'm just going to remove it because I don't need that extra space on my helmet. All right, final product, got it cleaned off. Now we know this piece goes to the helmet and this piece will go here, like that. And just like the helmet, there's this weird issue where it doesn't want to fit correctly. And when I tried using 3M tape, I kept trying to build it up on the edges and I could never get 100% contact with the helmet. And it was, I'd get far into a ride and I'd look down and my GoPro would be hanging down like this. So how do we fix it? Easy stuff. Clean this off. 
JV Will. Half and half. We'll need a decent amount of it. We'll try that for run one. Is take my razor blade and just mix it up. Should come out to a nice gray color when it's all done. And apply it liberally to the back of this GoPro mount. If you guys can see that, get it down there. So, a liberal application. To the back of the GoPro mountain. We're going to have to do this twice. Once to get an initial set. And twice to build up the edges. So we want this centered on there. What we're going to do is plant this puppy right in here. Just like that. Make sure it's centered as best I can get it. It is. And we're gonna let it dry. All right, round one of the JB weld is on. We'll do the same thing one more time. So just gonna even it up all along the edges. Just let it dry. Alrighty, almost there. Looks a little rough and nasty, and I wouldn't want to put that on the front of my helmet. So we'll just rattle can it into happiness. All right, it's all dried up. It's our final product. This is your basic 3M tape from any auto store. See, here's my lid, and now we've got a GoPro mount that fits perfectly without gaps. So, all I'm gonna do is 3M tape this, stick it on, and we're in business. So, I've laid one strip in there. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go a little bit over the edge, and then we'll clear it up with a razor blade. Take it and show you guys the finished product. Form fit GoPro mount. That is extremely solid and not going to come off. Thanks for watching.